Hey, what's up? It's your boy Darkatus over here, and this is gonna be the first episode for my new series called Is This Gun Worth It? Where I describe a gun in the best way possible and tell you, in my opinion, if it's worth it and on what it's worth and what is its best attribute and the way to actually use the gun. So, the first gun, as you can see, for this um, season or series, whatever you wanna call it, it's going to be the RK5. Now, the first criteria that's gonna be in most or every gun is how good it can do against the uh, boss zombie or zombies. So the Panther, it's um, why I picked this map. It's the most difficult one to get rid of if you don't have a power gun. Because like, yes, you have to actually shoot three times the Margo, but you can actually just run away from it and it will pretty much take a couple of hits and you gotta train while making sure that you like land your shots in its mouth or eyes or whatever it is. Now that means it's no, so it's on this map for that it's not good, but other boss zombies you will have um, less of a struggle. Now the next thing is without a double pack a punch ability, how good is it in the high rounds like 20 and up? And without a double pack a punch ability, if you're going to hit fire it's going to be also um, what I'm going to say right now, a second criteria and also of course the big thing about this season or series again is that if you want to basically pick a gun just know that i'm gonna make sure it's pack a punch after these rounds and that's the only way that it's gonna mostly count because if it's not pack a punch then you must be doing something wrong in my opinion but hip firing how good is it against zombies if you have them in a horde it should pretty much take them out after a good while if you're going to aim down sight, you want to aim for the head, obviously, and that shot definitely happens to be a very good perk for this gun. If you want to honestly have like a double pack of punch ability, I would honestly recommend Bioworks, um, Blast Furnace, and Thunderwall. Not so much dead wire. Maybe, honestly, if you want to use this as a point gun or whatever, you want to go for turn, and that's about it. Now, the next thing that's going to be basically is where I decide is it hit firing better or aiming downside and I say hit firing because if you're going to go again the second thing you're going to go for a power gun in this it's really not bad for zombies maybe but it's not worth it it's more of like rack up points so hit firing is the way to go on a horde and that will be all for this first episode I hope you enjoy comment down for a new gun peace